I think I wore this shirt in the last video. I promise, I washed it. Hi guys, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today, I have kind of an update and also a book haul. Now, if you want to get to the book haul, the links will be in the description down below so that you can skip all this outro talking about my no-buy and how I got books during a no-buy. So, if you don't want to know anything about that, then just skip right on ahead. Links are in the description. Anyway, for those of you that have been with me for a while, welcome back. <laughs> and let's talk a little bit about my no buy. So uh, I think about a month ago, I posted this video about how I'm going on a no buy to save up money for surgery to have basically breast reconstruction corrective surgery. I'm very candid about it in that video if you're interested more to know more about that. I'm not going to go into great detail in this video. But what happened was that during the quarantine months, I realized that not only was I going through depression, but also taking away everything, like a complete no-buy, was adding a lot of stress that was making me even more depressed, which is you know, I'm not justifying because in the end these are just things, but being able to spend a little bit on myself to like remind myself that I can and that I sometimes deserve to spend a little bit of money on myself was something that I had to contend with. So what I came up with was instead of a complete no buy, I'm on an extreme low buy, which is I can spend 20 euros a month on myself or things that are for myself. In this case, I spend it on books because books are the thing that brings me the most joy to spend money on. And also because I realized that I don't have a lot of books that I actually wanted to read, but instead that I had bought a bunch of books that were on sale. So we're trying to not do that anymore. So that's how the no buy turned into a very, very, very low buy. And you know, if I go two euros over, if I come three euros under, I'm trying not to put too much stress on myself, otherwise this is just not going to be something that I enjoy or something that is going to last long term for me. So with all that being said and this introduction being done and for you to be like up to date with where I am, with not buying things, with saving money, thankfully, thanks to this, I have saved a bunch of money, I'm really happy. But let's get into how I spent the books and also the books that I got for review. All right, I'm gonna start off with books that you have already seen on this channel because you either saw them in my, um, uh, what's it called? My weekly reading vlog that I just posted, which is linked up here, or the previous one, which is linked up here, which was where I decided to go on a low buy instead of a no buy. So these books I have already read, which I am so happy about because I used to buy books and then they would just sit on my shelves for like weeks, months, years, and I wouldn't read them. And that didn't sit well with me, but here are actually four of the books that I've bought, I've already read because one of them is kind of another edition of a book that I already own. So let's, let's get through them. I got Neuromancer, which if you saw my latest vlog, you know that I've already read. This is... Um, believed to be the first real cyberpunk book. This is about a man who was in the military. In the military, he was able to connect to something called the Matrix, which is pretty much the Matrix. And then he lost his ability to, and somebody comes and is like, hey, I have a job for you to do, and I'll give you the ability to be back in the Matrix if you do it for me. And he's like, hells yeah, and you can imagine that a bunch of shenanigans ensues. This book, I've already read it, so I already know whether I like it or not, and let me tell you, I already gave this book 3.5 stars. This book is amazing, but it can be a little confusing, and um, it's way, like it went oh, way over my head, like I'm not smart enough for the Matrix, I'm not smart enough for Neuromancer. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first book I bought. The second 
second book that I bought with my budget and just so you know all of these books obviously were discounted if not I would have spent way more this one was four euros I believe this one was also four euros and that is The Wild Robot by Peter Brown again I've already read this book this book is about a this book is a low level middle grade book about a little robot that wakes up in the middle of an island and she has to learn to survive in the island. It's a really sweet book but I'll be honest with you it didn't like... if I had children I think I would have enjoyed reading this to them. Um, it has cute little illustrations inside of it, it's super sweet but it didn't give me the sci-fi feels that I was looking for. Still I believe the book is worth a shot and I gave it four stars. The other book I read is probably the biggest surprise and this was I believe also four euros and that is Orion Lost by Alastair Kissholm. Chisholm? I'm not sure. This book is about a group of teenagers that awake in a spaceship four months into a mission to recolonize, to not recolonize, to colonize a planet that is being, that is basically Earth 2.0. And they wake up and everything's a mess, the parents won't wake up, and also they find out really fast that they, their AI might not be on their side. This is such a fun wild ride. I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. I actually kind of gave it 4.75, almost 5 stars, because I really enjoyed this. I go on and on about me not enjoying YA, but actually I think this book is marketed as a middle grade, but it is actually YA, and I think this is really well written YA. The characters in here feel super real, they feel like kids put into situations that adults should be in, and how kids would react, as in probably fall down and cry for mama, you know, that kind of way. But they still have to figure out a way to get off of this ship or bring the ship back to course or whatever it is they have to do because they're the only ones there. And I love that during this whole story they're just thinking of we need to wake up the parents, we need to find parents, we need to find an adult because Trust me, that's what most kids would be doing. And I love the resolution of this book. I just love everything about it and I am so glad that I bought it. And I'm so glad that I'm buying books that I'm reading right away. Alright, the next book I've also read but I haven't really reviewed on this channel because I read it years ago and that is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. And now this is the illustrated edition. I found this on Amazon for like two euros and I was like I know that I already I think you can see it from here can you it's right here I already have an edition of Neverwhere but this one is illustrated and it's in English and the one that I have is in Spanish so I just decided to jump on it and I love looking at the illustrations this is one of my favorite stories of all time it's one of those books that sneaks up on you like you're reading it and you're like what's going on I'm not sure I'm really enjoying this and in the end it's like really awesome. If you don't know, Neverwhere is the story of a man who lives a very normal and kind of boring life in London and then one day he gets taken to... oh I do know it, does it have here? The London Below. So he gets taken to the London Below where everything is magical and it's just a, such a fun story. It doesn't hold your hand. I love how Neil Gaiman writes in a way where it he doesn't hold your hand, you just kind of have to figure out the rules of the world as you go along. Nobody explains them to you and yeah, I just love that I have this beautiful edition now to add to my special collection of books. Okay, this book was actually gifted to, be, to me by my mother. <laughs> she saw that I was looking at it at the store and she was like, if you really want it, you know, I can give it to you, you're doing so well with your no buy. <laughs> So of course she rewards me by buying me stuff and that is Vita Nostra by Maria and Sergei Dianchenko. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, that wrong, I don't speak Russian, I believe that's Russian. But well, it was translated by Yuta, by Julia Maytoff Hersey. So from what I gather, I actually bought this because Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena was raving about it and I wanted to read a Russian 
dark academia book because I know that you see over here and I if you saw like a little bit of a sneak peek in my latest vlog I'm doing um, spooky November where I read mostly dark academia books and I was like this fits in perfectly with that and I really like dark academia books that focus on women usually dark academia like the main characters are men and this one is about a woman I don't know much else about it I just know dark academia woman Russian love it had to have it so my mama got it for me and the last books that I want to show you are books that a author reached out to me and said can I send you some of my books I looked up at her books on um, Amazon and on her Goodreads and I have a little brother I don't know if you guys know I have a little brother he is I believe he's going to be three years old no he's already three years old he's gonna be four. Oh my god he's so big now and she writes some children's books illustrated children's book and I thought that these would be really beautiful for my little brother uh, my little brother doesn't speak English that well, but we are teaching him. So I got here Miss Camellia and Hogo Tour Mound. How Miss Camellia found her smile again, and the author is Krina Lumidla Christia. 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And this was illustrated by Benja Hughes. So that's one that I have. And then the next one that I have is Pash and the Blue Bicycle and this was illustrated by Rhiannon Thomas. So I think my little brother is going to get a kick out of these. He loves reading so I'm really excited to give that to him. However, uh, this author Krina Lumidna Kirschda also writes adult books and she sent me her short story collection called whispers and i believe all of these stories are really dark stories which i am so excited about it says a profound darkness radiates from this book yet each whisper conveys an unnatural beauty krina has woven a surreal think piece on the soul of horror is it spooky time already i love it so thank you so much to krina for sending these my way i assure you my brother will really enjoy these i've already read them they're super cute and i am definitely going to enjoy this one and that's it those are the books that have made it into my life so far I'm really looking forward to reading them. I'm very happy how this is going. I'm very happy. I keep looking over there because over there is my TBR shelf and it is looking so sparse and I already have plans as to when I'm going to read all of the books. I am going to do it on haul of some of them because I just don't feel like reading them. And I realized that I only bought them because they were popular or because they were cheap or because they, yeah, basically they were popular and they were cheap. What can I say? That's sometimes what happens when you're on booktube. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. It's not as big as my previous hauls and I am very happy for that because I think that I was going into this like, which is very normal by the way when you join booktube this like, what am I doing? This. <laughs> endless pit of consumerist despair and I really didn't enjoy it but now I am aware of it and I am curbing it uh, you know I have to because I can only can spend 20 years a month and sometimes I need lipstick so without any further ado I bid you adieu thank you so much for watching and I remind you that I post every Monday Wednesdays and Fridays without fail and I will see you in another galaxy far far away Bye.